Hi guys, it's Tom here from Mercedes and I'm part of the Trackside Composites team that travel around um, looking after these cars. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the driver's seat. The seat is made up of a carbon fibre and honeycomb structure. Not only does it make it very really lightweight, but it actually makes it incredibly rigid, which is important in keeping the driver fixed into the car. The first thing we do in making a driver's seat is take a large bucket, and this fits to the extremity of the chassis. We line it with a bag. Inside the bag are small beads. We mix this with a resin, and we get the driver in the car, sitting comfortably, and he has to sit there for around 10 minutes until the beans and the resin go off. We can take the driver out of the car, we take the beans out, and then we have a perfect imprint of the driver. We then scan this, make what we call a pattern, then from that take a mould, and from the mould, we would make the final component, which is the seat that you see here today. The seats vary from driver to driver, none are the same, and they can actually vary throughout the year. So if the driver was to put some weight on, whether it be on the shoulders because they've been working out, or maybe lose weight around the waist, the seat itself isn't actually fixed to the car in any way. The only way it's fixed are by these four little bullets here, and this is common for every team. So once that's placed inside the car and it's sat like this, when the driver's in and strapped in, that's what holds it in and it doesn't allow the seat to move around at all. Basically, the point of this is so in the event of an accident, when the medics get to the car, they remove the seat belts and then use these straps to strap the driver into just the seat so he's no longer strapped into the car. And a spine board can be inserted here, securing the head, protecting the neck against any damage. Once that happens, the medics can lift the seat out of the car and take the driver to safety, protecting the spine. You've seen the seat, I hope it all makes sense. What bit of F1 tech would you like to see next? <laughs>